Welcome back to the good news. This is for Monday, September the 9th. I hope you had a restful and, love, and lovely summer with family and friends. Today's gospel is John 10, verses 19 to 30, and it is Jesus at the Festival of the Dedication. The time came for the Festival of Dedication in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was at the temple, walking in the covered porch named for Solomon. The Jewish opposition circled around him and asked, How long will you test our patience? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, but you don't believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me, but you don't believe because you don't belong to my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never die. And no one will snatch them from my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them from my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. And that's the Gospel of Christ. Thanks be to God. There again was a division among the Jews because of these words. Many of them said, He has a demon as, and is insane, and why listen to him? Others said, these are not the words of one who is oppressed by a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? At that time, the Feast of the Dedication took place at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the colonnade of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense if you are the Christ? Tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The words that I do in my Father's name bear witness about me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. I and the Father are one. The Jews picked up stones again to stone him. <clears throat> Jesus is saying that those who have heard his voice and believed who are able to see him at work in the world and in their lives, who are following him and his way of being in the world. They are people who have founded and are staking their lives on him. <clears throat> Verse 30 is an important statement that shows the eternal relationship between the Father and the Son. I and my Father, I and the Father, clearly speaks of two persons. Jesus promised to give them eternal life. None who are his will be lost. John 10, 29 is a powerful affirmation of God's protection, sovereignty, and care for those who belong to him. The sheep recognize the voice of the shepherd, the one who feeds them, guides them, and protects them. The sheep have learned to trust the shepherd. Is the shepherd's, and as the shepherd ensures safety of his sheep. Jesus shields his people from everlasting damage. Jesus calls his own sheep by name and leads them out, each one uniquely 
Each one is uniquely his and he knows them personally. He knows their names. The sheep trust him because they know his voice. But a stranger they will not follow and will flee from him for they do not know the voice of a stranger. The ultimate security of Jesus, sheep rest with the good shepherd. Eternal security means all those who are truly believers will be kept by God's power and will. Persevere as Christians until the end of their lives and they will surely live with Christ in heaven forever. Are we willing to be a sheep of the shepherd who is our Lord Jesus Christ? and God his Father. Let us pray. May the love of God fill you with joy and peace. May the healing power of Christ strengthen you and save you. May the Holy Spirit encourage you. May a thousand angels guard your steps and may you find blessings in all your days. Thank you and take care and God bless.